Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here. Yet another three string cigar box guitar lesson. It's Rocky Mountain Way. Joe Walsh. Three string. We are tuned E, B, E. Let's get started. So it's a blues shuffle and we are playing the open chord. Then first finger on the third string. Then first finger on the second string, second fret. I'm using my first finger on that. I've got a slide on my third finger and I'm muting with the second finger. So I'm only pressing down that second string on the second fret. Then when it goes to the chorus, that's just a regular old shuffle. And I'm using my first finger to bar across on the fifth fret and my pinky two frets up on the second string. Be careful with that slide though. It's hard to do a shuffle without that slide banging against the string. Of course, when you go up to the 12th fret there, that's your octave, so that's your high G. So I'm going up from five to six to seven, that takes us up to the five chord, which would be what in the key of E? B, correct. I'm doing a little bit of vibrato there, and I've got my first and second fingers muting the strings behind the slide. That's what I prefer. When I play a metal slide, I don't like all those overtones. However, I believe Joe Walsh used a brass slide, which has way more overtones than this does. He must have had a really good way of taming it because those overtones can kind of be overpowering. Anyhow. So the next part, you're gonna to go to the 10th fret, which is an F chord, and we're gonna slide up to the 12th fret, double that octave, which would be the one chord or E. So I'm putting a real quick open chord in between. I'm going 10th fret. And I'm using my thumb behind the neck, that's how I play. I pivot my thumb off the back of the neck like that, and it gives me a steady way to play vibrato. So what I'm doing there is I'm going, I'm going from, what is that? I guess that's nine to 10. but I'm using my second and first finger behind the slide to keep all those overtones to a minimum. And I'm vibratoing quite quickly. Now it goes back to that second verse, which is open, five, three, open. And that's where the guitar solo comes up. up from zero to two to three to four to five and this is still within the instrumental solo portion of the song so 
I'm going from five to six to seven. That takes us up to the five chord. <laughs> Now I'm going back to that part again. So that's 10, a real quick zero. Back to 10, back to zero, back to 10. And then 10 up to 12. So I'm doing just the outside two e, e notes on that one. And this is before the guitar solo. And then there's another chorus. doing that part I'm choking with that hand and you're just using the second and first fingers to flop down on the strings to kill it and you're also doing a real short slide And then the song fades out from there. So let me show you some licks you can play. So we are in the key of E and we're playing E minor pentatonic. So I'm playing 12 to 10 on the top two strings. Then I'm gonna go up to 13, 14, 15, which is your first dot. Then you can go up to 17, the next dot. And sliding into those notes sounds really good. Make sure you mute that. Okay, one more thing. When I'm muting this out, It's a little tricky at first because you're sliding, but these two fingers are going to be muting as you lift up the slide off the strings. So have fun with that. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box of cigars just like this one since 2004. Please subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you next time.